One in three deaths in the United States are caused by cardiovascular disease. According to the American Heart Association, 2,200 Americans die of heart disease every day, about one death every 39 seconds. In light of these alarming statistics, we wanted to get answers from New York cardiologist Dr. Johnny Lee how to prevent the disease. Heart disease is still the number one killer in the United States. Despite increasing awareness, many Americans still consume fatty and salty foods frequently, keep smoking, and don't walk or exercise enough. Well, the early warning signs really is, uh, comes from the basic understanding of just plumbing. Um, the heart has three arteries, and these arteries supply oxygen to the heart. And these arteries become narrowed as we age. What accelerates the narrowing of these arteries are the four risk factors we talked about. Diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and smoking increases the rate at which arteries narrow. Think of the pipes inside your kitchen. The more garbage you throw down the uh, kitchen sink, the more likely it's to get clogged. Doctors stress that it's crucial to watch out for early warning signs, such as shortness of breath or chest pain. Visiting the doctor early for preventive checkups may save lives. If you're eating a high cholesterol, you smoke, and you have diabetes, you're more likely to clog these arteries. Once you clog these arteries, they cannot deliver enough oxygen to the heart. So the common, the common symptoms are when you exert yourself, walking a fixed distance, playing with the grandchildren, uh, and all of a sudden you start developing chest discomfort or trouble breathing, could be palpitations, dizziness. Those are probably the most common symptoms of coronary artery disease or heart disease. Only about 20 percent of Americans meet the recommended guidelines for physical activity. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control suggests two hours and 30 minutes of exercise a week. Muscle strengthening activities on two or more days a week are a big plus. Exercise probably keeps your weight down, which also is a risk factor for developing high blood pressure. People who tend to exercise tend to eat healthier. In general, if you have a high uh, um, uh, you know, exercise frequency, you're probably less likely to want to eat high caloric foods. So it's really um, that if you exercise, your lifestyle probably uh, begins to change to something that's more positive. You're less likely to have McDonald's after you go for a five-mile run. The American Heart Association also recommends taking training classes for the worst scenario. However, prevention is the key, and that also means to cut back on fast food, red meat, sugars, and saturated fats. Um, food that's quick or fast food is really prepared um, not in probably the healthiest way. The types of oils they use, um, why does a burger look still fresh after being there for three or four hours is because it's the type of saturated oils they use. Um, the french fries, it's quick, it tastes good, uh, but it's highly salted, it's fried a certain way. So what we realize in Asia is that the rate of heart disease now is probably going to eclipse the rate of um, liver disease as probably the number one killer. In 2010, coronary heart disease cost the United States an estimated 109 billion U.S. dollars in medical costs and lost productivity.